Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a product review on an aluminum zap radiator for a 92 to 2000 Honda Civic. Uh, it's a dual core radiator. Uh, it's very fine handcrafted, welded aluminum. Um, just on, on quick inspection of it, it looks to be an excellent product. Uh, this product I bought on eBay for 57 and change shipped. So you can't beat that for a dual core radiator because some of them get up as high as $300. So here's all the bead welds that they have on this radiator. As you can see, it's just, it's an excellent product. Uh, some real fine craftsmanship on here. Everything, it just looks really good. When I got it, it was packaged extremely well. Um, there was all kinds of braces in there so that it wouldn't get damaged. Just the the welds are like really nice you got a plastic drain which is normal you got your two feet where you put your rubber grommets these are for your OEM fans so you can bolt your OEM fans up right here at the top on this side I'm gonna flip it over here's the other side Right here, they they make it downward like that because on most Hondas, when you go to slide the original manufacturer uh, radiator, the OEM radiator, it ends up hitting the frame and scra scratching it real bad. So, but it's it's a real nice product. I have no complaints. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a product review on it. Also, the cap cap comes with a nice little chain link on top it says zap so we'll see how this works out okay right here is the 92 to 2000 OEM Honda Civic radiator and here's the aftermarket one uh, what we have here is a dual core and a single core you can tell by if you look at the center you can see how wide this one is and you can see where the core is it's actually in the middle of the radiator they really don't change the width of the top much maybe a um, quarter inch maybe a little three quarters maybe just a little bit more not much though so it's going to fit in there just about the same the only difference is is with this radiator when you have it side by side it takes up the whole top the core because there's two cores put together so obviously you're going to get quite a bit more cooling and just the fact that the top and everything's aluminum it's going to dispensate heat a lot better than this one um, but what's nice is, is I have a downpipe of three inches on my turbo setup and <clears throat> I have a turbo GSR and that's why I needed to switch to a dual core radiator because it just couldn't handle it but uh, yeah I, I definitely it's it's actually going to fit because I was hoping that it didn't get any wider than the original one. But all they did, they put the middle core right in the middle, or the core right in the middle. And on this one, they just put two side by side so it fills it up. Um, with this one, I'm going to go ahead and take the fan off. This is an aftermarket fan. Basically, what I did here is, is I just got some galvanized wire, split it through, and then twisted it really tight and it holds the fan on there real nice I mean it's not going nowhere I'm going to do the same thing to this application without denting any of the fins or anything like that so we'll see how good it cools 